Hi there and welcome to Hyundai Power Equipment. Today we're going to look at the HYM 510 SPE lawnmower. Okay, let's get straight on with it. So I've removed all the packaging and laid everything out here on the table so that you can see what you get. First of all you have the lawnmower itself with a disassembled handle on top. A little bit of assembly needed, we shall go through that shortly. 70 litre grass collection box. The mulching plug with the handle. The side discharge chute. The charger for charging the battery, we shall go through that later. Comprehensive user manual and a spare start button. A quick start guide, which basically explains what I'm explaining here. And your warranty registration form. Now I do recommend that you fill this in or register your warranty. There are several ways of doing it, whether it's online or what have you, and it's all explained on this form. And that's the contents of your packaging. Let's start with the assembly of the handle. First thing you need to do is to remove the four bolts, plastic wing knobs and washers from the four corners of the frame. As you can see, there's one there, we'll put that aside for later. There's another one here, we'll remove that one. That's the two. And there's another two on this side, exactly the same position. So that's three. And that's the fourth one removed. The next step is to fold the lower handle up into its operating position. Take one of the bolts that you removed earlier, place it through the hole in the bottom of the arm, line it up with the hole in the black metal bracket. You can put the one the other side into the hole as well at this stage if you like. There we are. Having fitted the two bolts, then simply fit one washer and a wing nut back onto the inside of the frame. As I say, these bolts go from the outside of the machine to the inside with the nut on the inside. So I'll do exactly the same on this side. On with the washer, on with the nut. And tighten them up. The next step will be to fit the upper handle. To fit the upper handle, place it in position, again taking care not to trap or kink any of the cables, place it in position here so that this hole in the top lines up with the hole in the lower handle, slide this one into position and place the two bolts facing from the inside to the outside this time, then on with the washer. then on with the wing nut. Repeat operation on this side and that's the fourth one done. A little bit of cable tidying you'll see that on either side of the frame are these plastic clips. Simply gather your cabling up to the frame, feed the cabling into the clip and then push the clip onto the frame. I'll do the same on this side. You'll see there are three slots, you have three cables, and they'll all locate in a slot each. And there we are, that's your cables tidy. Another little job is to put the pull starter into this pigtail here. I'll stop at this point and recommend that you remove the spark plug cap when you're doing this to avoid any unintentional starting of the engine. I shall show you that next. The spark plug cap is located here on the front of the engine. To remove it, simply pull it away from the spark plug and tuck it into one side. Now there is absolutely no chance of the engine starting. 
This is very useful to know if you're doing maintenance on the machine. I'd always recommend removing the spark plug cap to avoid inadvertently starting the machine. To replace the cap, simply place it back over the spark plug and push it down firmly. So that's the spark plug cap, how to remove and how to replace. So having removed the spark plug cap to avoid inadvertently starting the lawnmower, I'm going to pull out the pull start, tuck the string to the rear of this pigtail, pull it forward and round and locate it in position. And that's it in the operator position. I shall show you that one more time. So it's across the back, up and round, and simply release it gently back into the machine. And that's the operator position. Now we're going to move on to putting engine oil in your lawnmower. The lawnmower will be shipped to you with no engine oil in it, and under no circumstances should you attempt to start the lawnmower until you've filled it with engine oil. To do this, you have here the dipstick and filler tube in one. Rotate it anti-clockwise and withdraw the dipstick. On the bottom of the dipstick, you will see a letter L, a cross-hatched area, and the letter H. You need to fill the oil level, L standing for low, above the low, up through the cross-hatched area to the very top of the cross-hatched area until you're just under the letter H. Okay? When you're filling it, take it nice and gently, a little bit at a time, with either 1030 or 1540 motor oil. Pour it from a suitable container down this spout, and when you're filling it, allow it time to drain out of the tube and into the engine, because if you were dipping in very quickly after you poured it in, you might be dipping your dipstick into the oil that's still in the tube and giving you a false reading. So allow it a little bit of time to settle down. Measure it by placing the dipstick on the top of the tube, pulling it back out and checking to see when you're on the correct level, which is just underneath the letter H at the top of the cross-hatched area. So having filled it to the correct level, replace the dipstick, turn it clockwise until you feel resistance, Give it a pull, make sure it's in there correctly, and that's it, you've filled your engine oil. Let's move on to fueling your lawnmower. The fuel filler cap is located on the back of the engine here on the left hand side from the operator position. Turn it anti-clockwise and remove it and you'll see it has a retention strap so you don't lose the cap. Little safety note, never fill the engine with petrol when it is hot and certainly never with the engine running. It's a fire, if should you spill some, there's a hot exhaust and what have you, and it's a fire hazard. So let it cool down before filling with fuel. So from a suitable container, fresh unleaded fuel, and fill your fuel tank. It's a one litre fuel tank, so if it's completely empty, you will get about one litre in it will come to the correct level. But the correct level is at least one inch or 25 millimetres below the top of the entrance. So having filled it correctly with fuel, replace the cap, screw it on clockwise, nice and firm, and that's your fuel filled. On some models, you may need to connect your battery. To do this, simply remove the two bolts on the top of the battery and unscrew them completely. And remove the two bolts. Lie the top of the battery case to one side and you will see that there are two red wires which are connected and two blue wires which aren't connected. The red wires are on the red terminal and the blue wires are going to go on the black terminal. To fit them on the black terminal, simply loosen off the screw place the two blue loops through the screw and reattach the screw to the battery terminal. Tighten it up and refit the lid to the battery, taking care not to trap the wires as you refit the lid. Then replace the two bolts. There we are. Tighten them up finger tight while holding on to the top of the battery case. 
once you've snugged them down, give them perhaps a half to three quarters of a turn. Don't over tighten these screws. That's your battery connected. When you first receive your lawnmower, you may well need to charge the battery. The lawnmower comes with a battery charger which plugs into a 13 amp mains outlet and simply plugs into the top of the battery case here for charging. So from a 13 amp mains outlet into this socket. The socket is located on the top of the battery on the right hand side from the operator position. You may also need to charge your battery from time to time during use of the lawnmower as, but it will hold enough charge for about 10 mowing sessions. And that is how to charge your battery. Let's talk about the starting procedure for your lawnmower. Three operations to start it. Here we have the choke lever. Here we have the OPC lever, which is operator present control, which pulls back. And here, out of sight, I'll give you a close up of that, is the start button. The start button will do nothing until the OPC lever is pulled. So for a cold start, the lever on the left hand side of the lawnmower says choke and run. So for a cold start, fully forward to choke, pull the OPC lever back and then, I'll give it a quick pulse, the starter motor will engage and turn the engine over. Once the engine has started, release the start button, let it run for a few seconds and then turn the choke back to the run position. Should the engine start to stall, leave it for a few more seconds in the choke position and then pull it back to the run position. To stop the engine, release the OPC operator present control handle completely. For a warm start, say for instance you've stopped the mower and just emptied the basket and you've been mowing for quite some time, you probably won't need the choke lever. So for a warm start, choke lever in the run position, pull back on the OPC handle and start the lawnmower. The lever at the back is the clutch that engages the drive. So when your engine is running you have your lever pulled and you want to drive away, pull the rear lever forward and that will engage the drive and the lawnmower will drive off. For the drive you also have four speeds from one to four. Fully forward is one, Number two is second speed, three, and the fastest speed is number four. So slow is one, and fully back is number four, and it goes at quite some lick. To disengage at any time from the drive, simply release the back lever. If at any time you take both your hands off the controls, the drive will stop and the engine will stop. And those are the controls for your lawnmower. On another note, should you have a flat battery, you can still use the pull starter on your lawnmower. Again, cold start, choke on, OPC lever back, and instead of pushing the start button, use the pull starter. For a cold start with no battery, for a hot start, sorry, with no battery, put it in the run position, again, pull back the OPC lever, and pull start it as normal. And those are the starting controls for your lawnmower. The start button to engage the starter motor is located here, the blue button on the right hand side of the control panel. To start, pull back the lever and that engages the starter motor. You can also remove this button to stop unauthorized use of your lawnmower. It does come with a little notch so you can put a key fob or something like that on it. Simply replace it back into the slot and that is the start button. To fit the mulching plug to your lawnmower, simply lift the rear flap, holding the handle outwards into the bottom, push the plug into the back of the lawnmower and close the flap. And this would be for mulching. To remove the plug, simply lift the flap, squeeze the grip on the handle and remove the plug. To fit the grass catchment basket, you will see that it has two latches on the top of the basket 
and underneath there are two lugs on the black plastic part at the top of the lawnmower. Simply latch the basket over the top and there it is fitted. To remove, simply lift the flap and lift the basket away out of the way. And that's how to fit your basket and your mulching plug. To fit the side discharge flap, you will notice that there are two little locations on the top of the flap and they sit on the shiny steel bar under here. That's the flap fitted. So, to fit it, lift up the protective cover, fit the chute, close the cover, and that is the cover fitted. To remove it, simply lift the cover and pull out the chute. Never lift up this cover when the engine is running, as it will give you direct access to the rotating blades, which is very dangerous. This lawnmower has a six position single point height adjuster. So from this one location, you can adjust the height of all four wheels for different depths of cut. Fully back is the highest position, giving the most clearance for the longer grass. And then position two, three, four, five, and finally right down position six, all from one single point. So from right up to right down takes moments. I do hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration. If you have any further questions on our lawnmowers or any of our other products, visit HyundaiPowerEquipment.co.uk. I've been Adrian and happy mowing!